Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all grinding well in Warframe. Now, it might seem that I'm a little late to the party. Then again, I don't go to parties, because if I did, then maybe once in my life, I would have had the opportunity to say, it's smash time. Anyway, today we're going to be taking a look at this custom ZAW and kind of discuss how insane heavy builds are right now. Melee 3.0 Phase 2, along with the slew of hotfixes right after, brought some drastic changes to Warframe, to the point that we have to change how we approach our melee builds from now on. This Scythe ZAW build featuring the Dockram Strike was suggested by one of our Patreon members on Discord, who goes by the name Glitch, hence why I named the thing after him. Thanks a lot, Glitch, whom without this content piece would have not been possible. Just a quick glance at the stats here and you can all already tell this thing is tuned more for crits with a base CC of 32%. I mean, that's really good, even before melee 3.0 phase 2. Now though? Well, I wanna say it is even better now, even though some may argue that blood rush is kinda nerfed, which uh, well, if you argue it for long enough I guess you could say it is nerfed in terms of its uh, max potential. The mod is still tied to the combo counter as before but we have a cap now that is far easier to hit. In my opinion, that is better. Sure, you kinda do less damage overall but you do also hit your max potential faster. Which is uh, kinda not preferable if you're a guy, but you know, it's okay, I understand. The fact that they buffed Sacrificial Steel and made it so that heavy attacks do double the crit chance, and also went so far as to buff the crit chance stats on Rivens as well, I mean, it's as if the devs were desperate in encouraging us to go down the path of heavy builds. To leave behind the old notion that status is better than crits or crit is better than status except when going into high level content where status ultimately prevails. Especially against armored enemies because armor scaling is nuts. I'd say that hybrid builds are still king but they're a little harder to achieve now with the death of meme strike. This should be nominated the mod of the decade in Warframe before we hit 2020, you know, as a final paying of respects. But anyway, here's the heavy build we'll be examining today. I repeat, this is a heavy build, meaning it's not gonna be the best for everyday use, if you will. It might even feel horrible for how slow it is, so if you're planning to use this Zaw for anything other than one-shotting high-level, high-threat targets such as bombards and gunners, or perhaps using it in synergy with Warframes such as Gauss or Volt, then obviously, you're not gonna like this thing. But please, let me show you how good it can be. Trust me, please, I promise, it will look and feel good after some practice. Which is exactly what I said before she got a restraining order till the year 2069. I will never win, will I? The Corrupted Heavy Gunners are one of the toughest enemies you can face in this game. At level 150, they have a combined EHP or effective health, which takes into account the armor rating, of over 10.9 million and a damage reduction of 98.05%. Those are insane numbers and as you can see, I am just scuffing the armor plating here with your normal quick melee spamming. If this was in an actual mission, you'd be long dead already from surrounding enemy fire because you'd be taking way too damn long to kill this thing. Unless I manage to proc some slash, that heavy gunner is just gonna keep laughing at my pathetic attempts to pound her down repeatedly which is basically every girl I've ever met. I don't exactly live such a joyous life now, do I? But watch what happens when I execute a single heavy attack. Boom, that heavy gunner, corrupted heavy gunner, just got destroyed by the massive slash procs. I mean, yeah, it took a couple of seconds for the bleed ticks to do their job, but technically, I did only hit once. Also, do note that if you tap the heavy attack button quickly enough, you can perform two heavy attacks before depleting the combo counter, which is neat. You made that ask, but how does it cost Slash with a status chance that low? Well, that's because Slash is guaranteed with heavies on weapon types such as Nakanas, Daggers, and Sights. That is why we went with crits when building the Zaw instead of status. Now you can take this a step further with Empowered Blades, a Warframe aura mod that drops from the Fearch Spectre, which spawns after you piss on the Silver Grove Shrine with this juice. I'm sorry, they've been invading me in missions a lot lately, so I'm kinda, well, pissed. Ah, 
puns everywhere. Okay, great. We have a super powerful Zaw that can one-shot big thick enemies, but I want to massacre groups instead. Kind of like spin to win, you know? One-shotting is great, but I don't see how this can be practical. Well, to achieve some bit of practicality, I have messed around with the build. This is kind of what I came up with. Even with the sacrificial mods at rank 8 each, we're already at 104% crit chance, which means Berserker is perfect. Definitely go with that over Primed Fury. Quickening is also another mod you can take a look at. You can use this in combination with Corrupt Charge or Life Strike, maybe, since the heavy attack will deal an absurd amount of damage, even 20% of a lot is still gonna be a lot. Though I would keep at least one elemental, preferably Prime to Fever Strike, or maybe switch it out with one of those faction mods like Smite Grenier because they do help out with the heavy attack damage. Focus Energy could also be an alternative because of the combo efficiency stat. Of course, if you have other build suggestions, just leave them in the comments below. I'll be sure to check them out. Now, if you were to get a rune for this thing, then I'd suggest rolling for more crit damage and initial combo, possibly. I mean, that would be really good. Crit chance is nice, but then again you are running a build that is more optimized for heavy attacks. Even the daily driver build still has the super powerful heavy attack as its focus. The speed mods like Berserker just make it more usable for clearing out small groups of enemies. Also personally I'd roll for range too. I know it doesn't add to the DPS, but I enjoy having more range on my weapons. If you happen to have a Zaw setup that you think deserves more attention, then hey, there's a link to my Patreon page down in the description where you can support me and gain instant access to the Discord server from just a dollar and fifty cents. Though I will be doing a Discord membership giveaway real soon, so you may want to wait just a little longer. Also, the merch is pretty much ready to go, just need to get some test purchases done and I'll let you know when you can get your very own Mellow Ahagao mug. As always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.